everyone welcome back to my channel today is all about getting back into routine after traveling i recently just came back from mexico with my mother the first thing i had to do was buy groceries i barely had any food in my fridge didn't have enough to make breakfast so i went to target to get a few things didn't feel like going to trade joe's or whole foods Then I went to the planner section. I want to start writing out my weekly to-dos rather than typing it out in Notion, which hasn't worked for me lately. I cannot use a planner with blue or black ink. I have to use colored pens. It just makes it more fun and enjoyable to plan out your week. But giving you a quick planner tour it has a couple of like cute little pages like writing your healthy habits, writing your bucket list, writing your goals, which I started doing. But it's really important for me to get organized and Notion is a great place for like writing down my YouTube growth and my yearly goals, but just a weekly to do, I needed something physical. So I'm pretty much done filling out my to-do list and my new planner. Um, I have a couple of important dates that I added to June. Um, I added, what else did I do? I added my bucket list. Um, I think that's really it. They have like a goals for the year and action steps and keeping balance, but I didn't focus on that yet. Let me tell you guys. You guys saw that I went to Target. I had three planners in my hand and I chose one of them. I go in the car, we're driving, and I see that the first tab is July, July 2023. And I'm like, where is June? <laughs> so... I was kind of upset, I was like, okay, I just bought this. I wanna be able to use it now because June is coming up. I don't wanna wait all the way until July to use the planner because I bought it today. Um, so I went to a different Target, it's a little further away. I went to a different Target and then look at all the planners. They have less planners and a lot of them do start off with July, 2023. I finally found a couple that have June, but they don't have like the weekly notes for June. They have like the, um, let me show you. They have the calendar for June, that's it. And I'm like, okay, well that's good enough. And they have it for May to just a calendar view. And then starting from July, they have the calendar and weekly um, review. And this one also has like a monthly review. Each month you can write down your personal wins, important goals you connect it with keep purchases made i'm grateful for i will always remember ways i took care of myself and what i learned i love that so that's something that i can include in my monthly reset video so that's really nice well not for june because i don't have all of that for june but start from july i could you know fill this out and talk about it honestly just miss having a planner i used to buy one each year for college and I had the exact same, you know, color pens. They're just so colorful. Um, but it's just the little things in life. This is like equivalent to someone buying like sneakers or like clothing items. Like buying new color pens and a planner. Oh, I was so excited at Target. <laughs> I felt like a little kid. But yeah, I just needed something, you know, um, to jot down with. Like the Notion is great. I use it a lot for like YouTube stuff, but for like my personal to-dos, the to-do that I had in Notion just wasn't working for me. I was barely looking at it. But with this, I can look at every single day and write it down. And it's just fun because I have like all these different colors. Um, so yeah, I'm good with that. Now it's time to clean up. I did a lot of laundry um, two days ago because, look, 
<laughs> it's a lot coming back from vacation. Yes, I had a lot of things. I had to do, what, three loads of laundry, which is kind of crazy. But right now, I'm just gonna tidy up and probably just clean the bathroom right now. Okay, this can't be a reset video if I'm not cleaning. So of course, I'm doing a little bit of cleaning. Before I traveled to Mexico, I did do some deep cleaning. So I didn't have to do too much, but it did get a little dusty. Guys, I think I found the one, this deodorant. My mom let me try it in Mexico. And in Mexico, we were walking a lot up and down hills. It was so hot there, it was like 90 degrees. It was very, very hot. And I had this deodorant on and my armpits did not smell whatsoever. So I came back home and I was like, I have to get this deodorant. And I found it at Target. Now mind you, this costs $14.99. It's the most expensive deodorant I've ever got. $15. But it does last a long time. And you can use this in multiple places. It basically helps with odor. So it can be anywhere that you have an odor problem. It could be like on your belly. It could be on your thigh. It could be behind your ear. Whatever. You just apply a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And it'll last 72 hours. This really does work. This is not sponsored. But I'm just letting you guys know. This really does work if you have body odor or if you have um, like armpit odor. And they have like wipes, they have several products, they have a cream and the cream version can be used as, as a deodorant too. But this is one I have, this is a scent, but this works perfectly. Just a little bit pricey, but my mom said she had hers when she first bought it, she had hers for four or five months. I was very surprised about some. Just letting you guys know. 